Now it's BBG chapter 18, sentence 9, almost done. First thing to notice is you've got a post positive gar, so you're going to yank that out and throw it to the front of the sentence uh, because of it being post positive. So uh, you're going to say for, and then you have udes, and hopefully again, what you remember is you would go, well, wait a minute, if I had a, tr if I had a little bit of trouble, I still know, I know haste me a hen means one in the masculine, feminine, and neuter. So what I have here is not haste, but ud haste. So you end up having not only one, and it's a masculine one, but you have no one in the masculine singular. Uh, nominative okay so again so it's no one and then you'd expect for your verb for it to be a third person singular and as soon as you see that tie there at the end you not only know that it's third singular by remembering my side tie metha est and tie and then you see tie is third singular but you also know okay well that lines it up with this subject and I should remember the verb as coming from dunamai. And as soon as I say dunamai, I know that that verb is deponent. So even though it's a passive ending, I'm going to translate it actively. So for no one is able, that's your main, main thing there. No one is able. And then you have tauta ta semea. All right, and then you know, if you know tautas, you've got this neuter plural, right? Lines up here, lines up here. So this is a this is a phrase, and it's these signs begin again because it's uh, plural. But then you have to say, well, is it is it nominative or accusative? Well, you already have a subject. You already have a subject over here. And the verb is a singular verb, so it cannot line up with tautata semia, all right, which means that this phrase has, has to be in the accusative and has to be the direct object. So for no one is able to do these signs, and here's your to do, okay, and he gave you, no one is able to do these signs, and your relative pronoun which, okay, which, and then you do, hopefully you recognize this from your contract verb discussion, when you have poieo, and as soon as you say poieo, you know it's contract verb, and then oase omenita use is the way I learned it, and that will tell you this is second singular, lines up with sue as the subject, which has to be nominative. Uh, and then we'll come back to the relative pronoun in a minute, but let's continue on. For no one is able these signs to do which you do, and then hopefully you remember aeon may as unless or except. Uh, in this case, I'd probably say unless, um, just because it's more the way we would say it in English. Um, you know, it's, it's literally if not, except, or unless. All right. Uh, and then you have your subject down here, so you got to pull that forward. Unless God is, and He gives you the gives you the verb. Unless God is. Met out to, hopefully you know one of the meanings of met is with, and especially when it takes the genitive, and why is this why is this pronoun in the genitive? Not because it's possessive, but because it's the object of the preposition meta. Alright, and meta when it takes the genitive means with, so we have with him. And then we go back to the beginning and say, for no one is able to do these signs which you do unless God is with him. Okay, so that all makes sense. Then what you got to do is you got to come back to your relative pronoun and say, all right, relative pronoun, you got case number gender. Case, you look right for what you, you know, how it fits within the relative clause. Number gender, you look left to the antecedent. So number gender, if I look at ha, I know that it is plural and it is neuter. Well, what lines up with neuter plural uh, prior to that is ta semea, so the signs, these signs that he talked about. So it's the signs that he's talking about. And then in terms of uh, case, it's either nominative or accusative, but of course the relative clause right here already has a subject. So this ha has to be accusative. 
which means that it's replacing the direct object. And since you know that he's talking about the signs or these signs, then you say, well, you do these signs. Perfect. Makes perfect sense that that ha would be accusative because it's replacing the antecedent in the relative clause. Well, as though he were saying you, in an independent sentence, you do these signs. All right.